right here I am in Joshua Tree with a nice big rock outcropping. You can see the rock all around me and Joshua Tree off in the distance. Um, but I want to talk about this rock right here. So this rock right here, I'll get a nice close up of it for you. So for the color of this rock, we have, um, it is very light colored, white, a little beige, some light gray. Um, so I'm going to say this is a more felsic rock um, due to the coloring. You can also see what kind of fascinating here is that there are little pieces of other sorts of rock right here and here's another one directly embedded in this rock so uh, potentially we have um, multiple periods of crystallization or maybe this is um, um, the country rocks that have fallen into the magma as it was um, crystallizing um, as far as the crystals go you can see, if I get a nice little close-up, that the crystals are visible to the naked eye, and you can see lots of um, sparkle in the crystals when the sun hits it. Um, definitely multiple types of crystals, um, but they're visible to the naked eye, so they're if I can remember the word off the top of my head, fen phenaritic, phenaritic, which means visible to the naked eye, which means that when this rock was cooling, it had a very long time um, to go through the cooling process. So it took many, many years, potentially millions of years to um, allow the crystals to form uh, in such, uh, such a large crystal forms. I uh, do believe that this is an igneous rock due to seeing these uh, crystals that have formed into in the rock as well as how it's this giant outcropping um, with all the sandy area uh, around me. It's pretty fantastic um, to see. And I do believe that it was formed over a lot of years because of the large crystal sizes, it was able to slowly, slowly cool underground. And then over many, many years, the, the sedimentary sandy area around us has eroded away to allow these giant outcroppings of the harder igneous rock to um, ex extrude from from the surface of the earth, but it would have been an intrusive rock created deep under the ground and then um, only showing here because of all the um, erosion of the sand around it. All right, I'll give you one more look at the cool rock. wonderful day.